Hey, how's everybody doing? This video is just going to be taking a quick look at Mafia 3 and the areas I felt have been branching out into the disappointing side. But please note, before watching any further, these opinions are based off of a good few hours of gameplay. I won't spoil anything about the story, but I'll just say I'm at the part where the missions aren't so much on a linear path, but you can choose between them. You know, the part where you can independently start bringing down some mob boss rackets and such. Anyway, with that being said, I feel like I've played enough to at least give a few impressions. Now, I'm the type of gamer who is a massive sucker for these style of games. I love open worlds, I love the sandbox style of having a brand new city to explore, and that's why I'm always on the lookout for the next big AAA title to sink my teeth into. GTA is a big example, as GTA pretty much nails everything perfectly, and every other open world third person shooter is compared to it. However, with Mafia 3, I did feel like I was prepared for something very different. I've played Mafia 2, and so a lot of Mafia 3's storytelling and gameplay methods have not come as a huge surprise. Anyone familiar with Mafia 2 knows that the narrative flows a lot like a movie, with jumps in time and the gameplay sort of taking a back seat as more focus is given to the story. I knew all of this going in and was prepared for a sort of more grown up version of GTA. A more serious, hard edged look at what could be done with a city in an open world. But it seems the more I play, the more I'm noticing just some of the game's shortcomings and I'm just a little disappointed. Firstly, the open world hasn't progressed much, if at all, since Mafia 2. The thing that drives me crazy about devs who clearly have put their heart and soul into creating an open world is when there's nothing to do in their open world. The detail and design of their creation of New Orleans looks fantastic. Go for a drive on a clear sunny day and it's just great to look around and take everything in. But then after you've driven around for a bit, the novelty wears off and you're left with a giant playground with no actual equipment to play on. I had the same complaint about L.A. Noir. The graphics in that game were absolutely incredible, but my god was it bland. Had the same issue with Metal Gear Solid 5, a game made into an open world setting but for no appreciable reason. In Mafia 3, it follows the same problem of paper-thin emptiness. I was hoping after a few missions, things would open up, but it hasn't happened yet. If it's still to happen, then I apologise and I'll retract this complaint. But there's no many games, no races, no people to meet that are completely separate from the main story. There's no shops or bars. Okay, well, actually, there are shops and bars, but you can't do anything at them. Even in Mafia 2, you could go in, order a drink, and have your health refill. Even in Mafia 2, you could buy clothes. You could change outfits to actually remove your wanted level from the police. And that kind of brings me into my second complaint. There's no character customization whatsoever. They've literally regressed in this area since Mafia 2. Yes, it was still very basic, but you could at least change Vito's appearance. In Mafia 3, you're stuck wearing whatever clothes the game wants you to wear. There's no change in hairstyle, no tattoos, no nothing. And I was just hoping for something more. But that's a minor complaint, really. In the grand scheme of things, customization doesn't actually matter a great deal. But it's still a nice thing to have help with immersion and having a better connection to the protagonist. Thirdly, I have to talk about the enemy AI, which can be straight up bad at times. Honestly, in current year, the AI should probably be better than this. Stealth is sort of a joke, and I would argue that even Uncharted 4's stealth is better than this. It just feels so tacked on. The enemy can take forever to notice you. Their cone of vision seems extremely short and forgiving. This is fine, I suppose, if you don't care much for stealth. Something tells me that they actually want you to play this game with more of a focus on combat instead. The combat in itself is okay. It's what you come to expect from a third-person shooter popping in and out of cover. But 
When you go to the stealth route, this is where the enemy AI really shines for how stupid it is. There was a moment I was playing, I really wish I caught it on video because it was hilarious, but I must have baited about three or four guys towards a doorway where I could do a stealth takedown. The funny thing was, they didn't even react to the growing pile of bodies in front of them. I've played more and I have since seen them react to dead bodies, so I don't know, maybe it was a bug or something that they've fixed post-patch, I don't know. But yes, to sum up this particular point, the stealth is weak and if I do get seen, I don't even care as gun combat is more fun and interesting and just ultimately superior. So those are my main complaints, the AI being the worst as it's hard to ignore when enemies are acting so blind it breaks your immersion. But yes, I'm a little sore over this. I did buy this game on its release day, which is something I rarely, if ever, do, unless it's something special. I changed this habit for Mafia 3 because I was bored, quite honestly, and I just wanted something to play. Mafia 3 looked amazing from the trailers, and I'd read up on some good reviews, so I just jumped straight in. But don't get me wrong, I still like it, there's a lot of positives to take away from this game. It's got a great story, the city looks amazing, the cars likewise. I've always had an appreciation for 60s style cars. The soundtrack is brilliant. I think for a lot of people, the soundtrack is going to be mentioned a lot as a positive. The driving is decent enough and the gameplay fun enough to come back for more. I'll without a doubt complete it. I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, which from this footage right here, I almost died horribly but somehow managed to scrape through it. As it stands currently, I'd rate this as a 6 out of 10, worth a play but not at full price. Why does it seem like that statement gets repeated a lot these days? Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Let's get this show on the road, some of us want to work. Let's get this show on the road. Let's get this show on the road. Some of us want to work. Let's get this show on the road. Some of us want to work. Let's get this show on the road. Some of us want to work. Come on. It's been the same story for the last damn week. Cocksucker Greco. Fucking making a working man.